We moved in 2013 to another town, a smaller town, because we got kids. And um, and from the moment we moved, I realized how strong my love for this town is. I I don't wake up here anymore, and I'm not going to sleep here at night. So it 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 gives that feeling of missing a place where we used to live. But the funny thing is that I still live here a bit because I'm working five days a week in this town. And this situation is a very good situation to paint this city with love. I'm a walker, I like to see the town as I'm walking through it and I make lots and lots of pictures and I love to, to work from these pictures. When you're making pictures, you're already drawing a bit. When you have the sun in front of your face and the shadows are coming near you, the, the people are becoming more silhouettes. You don't really recognize who they are. They are just humans moving to their destination. A good advice from Josef Spukvich, one of my favorite watercolors, is um, look for the mother color. The mother color is the, the color um, that can be, be called the, the main color as well. When you know already, when you start, what the mother color, what the main color is, you know as well what the complementary colors will be and which colors you, you have to use to make them stronger and, and, and work together. So before I start I really need to have a certain plan in color and contrast and drawing and uh, a certain center, center point where um, the most interesting things in the painting uh, are happening. I see this. I see the subject of this watercolor is actually some kind of, of tunnel, a light tunnel, and with with uh, darkness on the left and darkness on the right, and everything is happening in this kind of tunnel with with moving humans and objects and things. Uh, and important is to to see the direction of of this light um, and the color of the shadows. So, for example, the shadows on the right they are quite cold. And the shadows on the on the left side, on the walls, that they are even very warm.
the strength of a watercolor and, and from backlight, using backlight as well, uh, is is the darkness. Without those dark parts in a watercolor, you never reach the real kind of light you see in in good watercolors. So the secret is in a balance between dark and light. That's the most important thing. Uh, you start with a white, shiny piece of paper and everything you put on that paper feels dark because a color is always darker than clear white from the paper. But when you take time and you put new washes over the first wash, you see that the first wash is getting lighter and lighter and when you are halfway through and putting the real darker shadows on your paper that moment is is magic because then the first layers really start to shine you 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 reach to you, you see the real light coming through your paper and that's yeah i love that moment The way I'm working now in this watercolor is impossible to do outside in town, I guess. Um, it takes so much time and concentration to see what the layers are doing, what the drying of the watercolor is doing, and outside the, the light is still changing. So when I'm working outside, what I'm doing sometimes now, um, outside I'm looking for the a kind of more simplicity, a simple way of working. So then I can finish a watercolor in one or two hours. But that's a different way of working than I'm doing in my studio. In my studio I can uh, paint subjects like this, which is almost impossible to do outside because there are too many people and they start talking to you or standing in front of your view. But in the studio I really can concentrate in take my time to see what I have to do. And that's also very comfortable and it can be dangerous because you could take too much time to see what you want to do. And the funny thing is when you're working outside, it's not that comfortable. So then you are always in a hurry and that hurry, um, and that hurry needs a certain, of certain creativity to, to do the good things to finish a painting in one hour. I see that as a as a training you, you should do sometimes and then the, the bigger works and the, the more difficult works can be done in the studio.